All right, so a uh, quick test of running the Ike C F60, uh, F5060, which is this commercial Icom radio, which we have a ton of. Uh, so basically, Frederic here, say, say hi, hi. Fred, um, <laughs> developed a breakup board that allows directly to connect to the internal headers uh, that gives direct access to the modulation in and out. So you've got J2 and J1. We're using J2 right now uh, because it's easier to get access to the mod D mod, but we're probably going to move to J1 because it gives off PTT access as well. Because right now we have a wire soldered underneath it. Then next to it, you've got uh, the um, module 17 right now, external, uh, running off uh, the mi Kenwood microphone here. Um, and as PTT is not working yet, we need to modify the code. Uh, we are using the um, internal radio uh, radio's microphone as well with the breakout board. Uh, so the radio itself is set as digital because we're disabling the internal microphone amp. So if we go in TX, uh, we've got here this radio receiving it. Uh, so triggering TX, this is Oscar November, November 6, Romeo, Romeo Foxtrot, Fox Fox still Fox using the default call sign from M17. So that's one way. And the other way around, I'll let you do it. Oscar November 5, Romeo Yankee testing on one two. And you've got the decode as well. So yeah, uh, things left to do is first uh, figure out that PTT issue. So it requires inverting the logic because this requires a PTT active, uh, it's active high. So we need to change that. Then once it works, I'd like to bypass completely the external microphone and directly use the TX path from this, but it requires running more lines directly into bypassing the microphone amp and headphone amp from the module 17. So yeah, more to come later on.